Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeigniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 29. Inside this video session, guys, we will see that how can we remove public keyword from URL. Now, if I back to browser, this is our Codeigniter for landing welcome page. And if suppose if I copy this URL back to slide, open a new tab pasting it here and this is our application URL. Right now inside this URL we have a public keyword. Now inside this video we will see that how can we remove this public keyword from this URL. As currently we are in the development mode because we are developing application so it is fine that we have this public keyword. But in case, if suppose we are going to make our application live or in the production mode, so in that case we need to remove this public keyword. So what are the steps actually we have to follow to remove this public keyword we will discuss inside this video. Also if I back to editor, go inside this app folder, config folder and if I open routes.php. Copy this route, any of the route because we have configured several routes inside this. So let's say that I will copy this print hyphen message. Go to browser and simply type index.php. Typing it here and this is our expected output. Keep in mind again if I copy this route back here. Pasting it here. Now inside this URL also we can find that we have a public keyword. If suppose if I remove this public keyword from this URL, now it is not working. So we need to fix this issue that if we remove this public keyword from the URL, then it actually works. Now back to folder structure. So we need to follow simple simple steps to remove public keyword. Keep in mind, in the very first videos of this playlist, we had discussed that we have several ways to download Codeigniter for setup. First, we can download or set up Codeigniter for application by means of manual download button. In that case, we need to download a zipped folder and simply set up to our system. In the second case, we had discussed that by, user, by using composer create command. By the help of that command, we installed Codeigniter for application. So this is app2 folder as we can see here and this is the folder actually we had downloaded by the help of composer command. Now if I go back one tab back, here we have another folder called framework-4.0.3 and this is the folder actually we had downloaded via manual button. So in, the, in both the cases, we need to see that how can we fix the issue of public keyword. Now if I open a duplicate tab, go inside first for this composer installed folder, go inside this public folder and as we know that from the folder hierarchy that is public is that folder which stores all public accessible files that is all the assets file like CSS, images, JavaScript files and so on which is used as a public accessible files into application we store inside this public folder. Now if I press Ctrl H actually to show all the hidden files. So I am pressing Ctrl H. Now inside this public folder we have files called index.php and .htaccess file. So at the first step we need to move these two files called index.php and htaccess to one folder back. So what I will do Simply I'm going to copy this back to app2. Either you can copy or simply cut from this public folder. So simply I'm going to copy back to app2 
and pasting it here. Now these are the two files. Previously it was inside this public folder. Now we have copied and pasted at the root of app2. If I back to browser, again pressing enter. Now also it is not working. Instead we are getting 500 internal error. Let's fix that issue as well. Back to folder structure. Open up the file called index.php. Back to editor. And if I collapse all the folders, now here at the root, we have moved this index.php as well as .htaccess file. Now open up index.php. And inside this index.php, we can see that we have a path attached. This path is of app folder, config folder and paths.php. Keep in mind, previously this file, this file was inside public folder, so it is going one folder back. But currently, now it is at the root, so we need to remove this double dots forward slash in front from this app folder. Now we are going to directly inside this app folder, config folder and paths.php. Save all the changes. Go and reload this page. Now as we can see that successfully our URL is working. It means completely we have removed public keyword. Again, if I type the URL back to slide, copy this and if I type this URL also it is working. To fix this issue as a permanent basis, you need to remove or delete these two files from this folder. Otherwise, in public case, it also works. This is all about Composer installed setup. Very simple steps. First, you need to copy these two files or cut these two files paste inside this root and all you need to change the path of index.php that is this paths.php file. Simply we have removed two dot and a forward slash in front of this path. Now if I back to directory structure, go inside this manual downloaded folder. In the same steps, we need to go inside this public folder, press Ctrl H. Now as we can see that we have these two files, simply copy these two files or cut that back to root, pasting it here. Now these two files we have successfully cut from this public and pasted at the root. Open up this index.php file and here as we can see that we have and simply we need to remove this two dot and forward slash in front from this path. All we have done now. So this is guys very simple steps to remove public keyword from URL. At the first step, copy or cut those two files called index.php, htaccess and paste into the root of the application and in the second step, we need to fix this path. Otherwise, we will get 500 internal error. So successfully guys we had seen all about removing public keyword in from URL. And also guys this is all about our playlist video. Now we, if you are searching or looking for our cake PHP 4, code igniter 4, WordPress and MySQL blog articles, please follow this website. This website is, has been created by us and inside this website we have several useful information about CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL and WordPress. Very interesting blog articles we have created and posted there. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I'll give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.